Chapter 869 Demonic Lion Legion It was very lively inside a large bin city with people all over the place. Cultivators from all kinds of sects were present. They pondered how to enter the building's present. Others were also finding treasures while some had ideas about the carved statues. They wanted to bring these statues out of the city. Despite their aspirations, many of them found out after personally experiencing it that obtaining a fortune here was far more difficult than they had ever imagined. More than half of the cultivators could enter the buildings in the other villages and cities. As for whether they could make it back alive with a fortune, this would depend on their own luck. However, things were different at Bun City. Entering these buildings was far more difficult compared to the locations outside. Moreover, it didn't have much to do with strength and more to do with one's fate and talents. No more than ten were able to enter a building inside the city. They were either geniuses or grasped the exact right time. Without great perception, one wouldn't be able to understand the seals from the buildings no matter how strong they might be. Even though there were millions of buildings here, the sects and experts that had sufficient strength focused on the master mansion. There was no lack of masters and brilliant geniuses here. All of them wanted to open the gate and enter the master mansion. This was because of the legend stating that there was an incredible fortune inside. It was the reason why the beast realm was able to reign supreme for several generations. However, no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't open these gates. One talented genius after another tried to connect and understand the gates ahead, but there was no reaction at all. Someone exasperatedly said, I clearly saw Ikai go in. They kept on trying again and again but all of their attempts ended in failure. This fierce Lee Kai is truly unfathomable. His downs must be at an extraordinary level. It is easy to tell just by looking at his achievements in the Tao of Alchemy, sweeping through the four prodigies and defeating all the other alchemists. Only Celestial Being Yi King Cheng and Imperial Ledge Myonin can compare to his talent. A sect master said with a tinge of emotion, he couldn't have been feeling good when there was a mountain of treasures right in front of him, just out of his reach. Not necessarily. HMPH. Li Kai has the Ben Immortal Rod in his hands. It is not strange that he could enter. One genius was unconvinced and scowled. While the cultivators were wondering how they could enter these buildings, a thunderous rumble echoed in the sky. The earth started to spin as a demonic energy as great as a flood rushed forth and engulfed the entire city. Bang, bang, bang. A very domineering army rushed into the city in a bullish manner. It drove all the other cultivators away from the streets. This was a supercilious rampage with wanton disregard for others. The army consisted of powerful demonic clients, a legion that had a majestic aura capable of looking down on the world, allowing them to run amok as they wished. The demonic legion of the ancient Lion Kingdom. Many were alarmed at the sight of this legion. Even if the legion wasn't chasing people away, they would still quickly retreat to make way for them. The leader of the legion was the Nine Head Lion Emperor, the eldest sworn brother of Yi King Cheng. He and his legion were extremely famous in the stone medicine world. Not only was he a renowned genius, but his kingdom also claimed to be the strongest demon race outside of imperial lineages. In the last few years, the legion under his command had many illustrious victories and even destroyed a few lineages. Their lion formation had actually trapped and killed a virtuous paragon. The Lion Emperor came to support Yi King Cheng, but now he suddenly appeared here. This made everyone wonder if Yi King Cheng had come back victorious. The legion under his guidance directly went to the master mansion and chased away all the cultivators who were trying to open the gate. On what basis is your kingdom chasing us away? Rin City isn't your home. This was met with dissatisfaction and opposition right away, especially from a few powerful great powers, although they considered themselves to be number one. This didn't mean other great powers didn't dare to oppose them. The Lion Emperor only fiercely glared at the unhappy cultivators like a great demon king capable of devouring others. He raised his voice. The imperial lineages want to reinstate an agreement. Everyone's wishes for my second brother to become the host. So before the agreement takes effect, no one is allowed to come close to the master mansion. Such words alarmed everyone. Many cultivators were very wily and experienced. They immediately understood that this was Yi King Cheng trying to take the Bin Mansion for himself. The agreement was only an excuse. Ha ha, what is this about imperial lineages wanting to reinstate the agreement? I haven't heard of any imperial lineage coming to this place. Don't speak so boldly if you don't have proof. An unconvinced cultivator sneered. Despite Yi King Cheng's worldwide infamy and a plethora of great powers willing to support him, a few other sects were very annoyed at him. In recent years, he rose to prominence too quickly as if he was about to become the young prince and future leader of the stone medicine world. This naturally made sects who didn't want to join him uncomfortable. In your eyes, just what kind of sects would be considered an imperial lineage? But at this time, a proud voice appeared. This person arrived at the scene as refined sunfire erupted like a scorching volcano, causing everyone to retreat. Many people gasped after seeing the newcomer. All eyes fell upon him immediately, the golden crow prince. His eyes swept through the crowd with a frightening and awe-inspiring aura as he proclaimed, my heaven hoof ravine and the stony edge kingdom along with 54 other sects propose that brother ye be the host. Anyone else got something to say? The crowd glanced at each other after hearing this. Everyone knew that if the alchemy kingdom, the giant long clan, and the beastmaster citadel trio didn't come out, then no one would be able to compete with the ravine. Its prestige was currently incomparable. Although the elders of the ravine had yet to arrive, the prince's support also meant that the ravine had Yi King Chang's back. Despite his prior defeat to Jian Hua Shuang, the prince's reputation wasn't harmed. In the eyes of many, even if he lost, he was still a contemporary genius the unshakable descendant of the ravine. Moreover, Jian Wash Wang was the golden daughter of a Jian clan with peerless archery. This arrogant phoenix was also a contemporary genius, so losing to her was not necessarily shameful at all. Even the ravine and the Stony Edge Kingdom cannot represent the imperial lineages of our world. There are still the Alchemy Kingdom, the Giant Long Clan, and the Citadel. 
a heavenly king from a great power was unhappy with the prince's overbearing actions and spoke his mind. Is that so? The prince's eyes turned cold with a murderous glint. The legitimacy of our representation is not up for you to decide. Having said that, he instantly shifted his body like a serpent and unleashed a palm towards this heavenly king. The king was shocked. His blood energy soared to the sky as he revealed his techniques to stop the incoming palm. However, the prince was extremely agile. It was as if he was everywhere at the same time. The king's techniques couldn't stop this palm. Boom. His heavenly king's arts couldn't stop the attack. He was blown away while spurting blood. With an unsightly expression, he struggled to stand up again. He glared at the prince and angrily shouted, Golden Crow Prince, do not push us too far. He was the ruler of a country, yet he was wounded by a junior in front of everyone present. How was he going to show his face again? Push you too far? The prince arrogantly sneered, So what if I push you too far? Losing to Jian Wash Wang left a simmering fury in his heart. Right now, he needed to kill in order to feel better. Such words annoyed many people. They were too overbearing and bullish. However, no one wanted to provoke the descendant of the ravine. The ragged heavenly king was at an impasse. If he chickened out, how could he have a place in this world in the future? The heavenly king laughed in anger and declared, Very well, the younger generation shall surpass us in time, right? Let me witness the emperor laws of an imperial lineage to see just how powerful they are. 